Hello guys and welcome back to another episode of my Feed the Beast Monster Let's Play. Today I'm going to be focusing on the mod called Rotary Craft so I can make energy. Because I'm going to be updating pretty soon to the newer version of this mod pack. In which this energy doesn't work anymore so... Yeah. I need to get some stuff first to that, so I need a dolly, and that's basically... A dolly is a... What, what did I just do? Dolly. Well, dolly. Not like that, that. Okay, so I need iron and wood, okay. Planks. And then I need some iron, so, and three diamonds. And craft it like this, okay. No. This and then if you do it like this, this is what you get, a diamond dolly. And this is able to transfer spawners. So let me get a blaze spawner and see and Once sec. you have a dolly, you with a spawner in it, you know, you just pick up a spawner by clicking on on the spawner with the dolly in your hand, so nothing too complicated. And it gives you slowness and mining, f mining fatigue, so that's something to be aware of, but if you put it into like a bag or something like that, it doesn't count it, and that's the middle. So if I just do this, it should start working as soon as I patch the holes that are in the roof, but not now because I don't have the cobblestone. Cobblestone, this one. French ties. Yeah. Tires, oops, sorry. French tires. Okay, like this. Patch everything up. There we go. And the uh, Enderman spawned immediately. Even though the, well, the spawner will run out of energy because I disconnected it. So I need to reconnect it now. And my nose is itching. So let's do that real quick. Like that. Go to here and do this. Okay, now it should have power, and that's basically all it needs to spawn Enderman. But the mod Rotary Craft is just so that the spawner spawns 10 times faster. And I could move this down by one, and I actually will move it down by one. Just because I... I don't want the the blaze to be spawning outside of the wall. And this thing can only pick up six spawners, so keep that in mind. So yeah, that should be working now, and as you can see, the endermen are spawning and dying. And if everything's correct, I should have enderpearls in here, which I do. Okay. So now let me wait for some endermen to spawn and start making the ender generators so i can update to the new to the newest version of feed the beast monster so see you in a sec okay i think i have all the stuff i need to make five and six ender generators so let's see i'm missing something or it doesn't want to craft Yeah, I'm probably gonna crash right now. Oh, I didn't crash, so oh, that's good. Usually when I do this, it completely crashes me. What am I missing? Oh, storage space, of course. Okay, don't mind me, I'm just dumb as... Yeah, I'm super dumb. Okay, now it crafted them. Okay, six ender generators, and how much ender pearls do I have left? Five, so that's not enough. 
so let's wait for it to spawn a couple more endermen and that one's aggressive at me okay yeah one enderman spawned so hopefully this thing will provide enough energy because i think they got nerfed in the next patch because the enderpearls only only give like 20 minutes instead of 40 but now let me get some stuff prepared for the road to craft and see you in a sec so i got almost everything prepared i just can craft one thing because i need this bedrock shaft units and i need bedrock dust so that's gonna be something i need to do but here i have the magnetostatic engine so we're just gonna transfer MJ into into the kilowatts and the units that they use. So here's a grinder. That's what the, that I'm gonna need for the lubricant, which you make out of canola seeds. And then there's the spawner controller. Then here's the bedrock breaker. That's what I need to get bedrock dust. And this is the last thing I need, it's a CVT unit. So yeah, all the items I need are in my inventory right now, plus the two CVT units that I'm going to be needing. And then I'll need a belt, which is spelled like that. I cannot spell when I'm talking, that's the one problem that I have all the time. And I'm out of leather, okay. L leather. Okay, I, I said I can't spell. Leather. Leather, okay. So you make it with quick lime and rotten flesh or mimicite, okay. Leather. Okay, and Mimikite. Two stacks of it, and now let's make some more leather. Like this, that's gonna be... That Mimikite is super cheaty. I love it. So, belt. Sorry for the strange letters that I'm using. That's just my language. My keyboard is like that, so can't really help it and I'm out of ladder again okay is that all the mimic I have oh damn I'm wasting way too much mimic it for not reasons now I should have all the belts I need yeah there we go for short, so mimicite. Oh, come on, mimicite the most cheatiest, the most overpowered thing in a whole game. Okay, that hopefully should be enough. There we go. Okay, so now let me get to the bedrock and let me get some energy and see you in a sec okay before i can mine bedrock i need to make a worm gear so i can actually get enough torque or something like that and now let me set up the bedrock breaker down there at the bedrock and see you in a okay, sec okay i set up how i need i set it up how i need it to be i hope and as soon as I do that, yeah, as you can see, it's spinning. And if I check, if I stop lagging, the bedrock will slowly start to break. So it takes 19 seconds, well, almost 20 actually, for it to break one bedrock, I think. Or one bedrock slice. 
Okay, let me wait for the thing to finish and give me some bedrock dust and see you in a sec. Okay, it mined one bedrock and now it's on the second one. If I And if I just click on it, I get two bedrock dust. So it needs to break another one. And then I'm good with the bedrock slicing, I guess. And yeah, then I'm gonna be able to run my power because now I'm actually running out of ender pearls. So one blaze spawner isn't fast enough, but with rotary craft it will be fast enough, okay? So let me wait for this one to be finished and see ya when I'm ready to craft the two CVT units. Okay, there we have the two CVT units. So now I can actually disable the bedrock breaker and I actually made a mistake well not a mistake like it, I clicked on it two, two times and it actually gave me four so oh it has one slice more to go I disabled the power just because I didn't want to because I was running out of power at my base and now all of the items are glitching out because I don't have inventory space. Okay. Now I need to hook up the... The grinder. Or whatever it's called, like... This is how you place it, and then the grinder. Okay, I do this to the max. Like that. And enable the power here. Like this, and now... I should, in theory, have a working grinder. And now I need this canola seed. And I want to keep one just for safety reasons. And this mod actually makes a lot of noise. This thing hurts too bad, okay. Did you see how much how much that hurts? That's worse than any mob in the whole game. Oh I'm gonna need a lot of canola seeds. Okay, so let me get two buckets of this and see you in a sec. Okay, now that I have two buckets of lubricant. And I did farm some canola seeds, I made a watering can. Which you can see the recipe of. Yeah, it's like this. Four stone, one bow and one bow meal. And this one is only for peaceful mode. That's why it doesn't have bone meal. And now... I can set up this... Super spawner, I guess. And like this, that's the wrong way around, like this, turn it again, then the magnetostatic engine, or generator, or whatever it's called, and some energy. Okay, put it to max. And then the belts you put in like this, all of them in the first one. And then as many as you put in, that's how much you can do. So right here I can do for do, and here I can do like this much, I guess. So two too many. And do 16. Like this, and that in theory should make a super spawner, but I don't see why it's not working. Because it doesn't have power. Why doesn't it have power? I don't know. So green is where the power goes in, and red is where it outputs it. So like this, and like this. And that should be working. I, I don't know why it's not working. Mm -hmm. 
Well, no redstone controls should be fine. Oh, of course, I didn't put in the lubricant. Like this, and then this. Oh yeah, it definitely works, okay. Do you see how many blades are spawning? That's insane. Oh my god, look at how fast the Enderman is spawning too. So I think that's epic. Look at how many of them are spawning. I think more than... Yeah, it's full. Oh damn, oh damn, can't even see what I'm doing. Okay, I'm on fire and the blaze are going to destroy everything. So that's uh, great. And I'm out of power, okay. Let me shut this thing down for just a sec. Wait for my system to get power again. <laughs> Damn, that's fast. I have a smile on my face just looking at them. My A system should turn online in a sec. Come on, hurry up! You have all the power you can get and... Go! Come on. Can you turn on, please? Let me wait for it to turn on and see in a sec. Okay, my Emmy system turned on and I have made a fair bit of progress. This room is still the same, I think, but here I added a lot of Ender generators and uh, a lot of them are already full to the max with ender pearls, so that's good. I would say 10 of them out of 40 that I have are full of ender pearls. So right now I'm running a quarry because I need some stuff to... Well, I mostly need uh, service quartz, which I have here, to automate the spawners, you know, when I have... I'll set like with level admitters that when I have under a certain amount of ender pearls, I want I want there to I want it to spawn more endermen and when I am under a certain amount of mob essence I want I want it to spawn blaze. So let me get the patterns for that encoded and see you in a sec. Okay, I have got a lot of stuff prepared. I made two more tesseracts and before I made two more because I needed to control the mob spawner and the quarry. And now I made two more for the for me to control the mob spawner. So and to store that I need fluid storage cells. So I need 4k fluid. So hopefully that's gonna be fast if I have everything that I need. No, I don't. Okay. So nether quartz dust. Two of, uh, two of that. And I needed some more hardened glass so I could make that. The tesseracts. Okay, there we have that. And now let me get the sand and see you in a sec. Okay, the... 4k fluid storage is crafted and now let me get the fluid monitor and hopefully I have everything that I need to craft it yeah the glass is already craft uh, smelting so I need more glass than I can produce okay but it should go by fast I think yeah and once the school and once the query is ran, I shouldn't have any problems with resources anymore. Because for the last two episodes, I'm like completely broke on quartz and stuff like that. So one more, and then it's crafted. Okay, now let me put the fluid storage here, a uh, fluid monitor here on this side. And that's how it looks, okay. So now first thing I need to do is go here. 
and where there's this like that I need to set it to I would need to set it to mob farm I think okay let me just set this up off camera so I can actually think and see you in a sec so I set up everything that I need and now let's take a look at how it works so let me just destroy a couple blocks here there's a tesseract set on mob essence and it's only receiving fluid and it puts the fluid into this ME fluid interface and this is connected to my ME system so that works and then here there's a tesseract set to mob juice and this one only sends fluid and it gets fluid from here this fluid export bus which basically gives him what a thousand millibuckets a tick and then what 20,000 millibuckets a tick okay let's just say it sends one bucket a tick of mob essence so then here there's a level emitter so emit levels when uh, above or equal to limit so when I have more than 4092 and the the thing will shut off and stop sending the mob essence to the spawners which are connected here and there's some strange bug with the fluid ducts and the uh, tesseracts and this one is just receiving the monster essence that that one is sending and then here there's another one that just sending the mob essence from here to my system and if I can make this cheaper in a way without breaking what I want to store some fluid in here 400 buckets Please tell me in the comments how to do that because that's the only way I think it can work. But if I'm wrong, please correct me and I think I can do that. Yeah, okay. And now, oh, damn. Okay, now let me wait for the all the ender generators to get full of ender pearls and see you in a sec. So, the last thing that I want to do for this episode is make some better energy throughput or transfer, whatever you want to call it. And I, and I upgraded this alloy smelter, put it a double layer capacitor, that's the, that's the second tier, right, this one, and that's the best. But I don't have this, so yeah. Oh uh, yeah, now let me make some conduit binding. What's it called actually? Binder, okay. Binder, okay, so let's make a stack of it. And now let me just smelt it up. As soon as the iron gets done and see you in a sec. Okay, then you need to make some energetic alloy which is this recipe so you can make the vibrant alloy and you just add an ender pro so that's why I'm actually making this because this whole episode is kind of based around enderman spawning and ender pro collection so let me wait that to get done which is gonna take a while and see you in a sec so the energetic alloy is now done and let me do this Oh, I can't. Okay. So this goes a lot faster. And let me wait for this to get done and see you in a sec. So I have got all the stuff prepared to make the conduit. So I have 33 and this makes 8. So let's say a stack for now. And how much more of this do I have? 3 more crabs, that's 24 conduit so like this and that should have used all of them yeah okay now let me replace all of the conduits with this stuff they can throughput twice as much 
and this is how it looks. It's a super thin cable, and it works with the mod Applied Energistics, so that's how you make this cable. And they're able to fit in the same block, and then you can make block illusions or something paint painted blocks, yeah. So that's cool. Yeah, and let me do that and be back. So I just uh, installed the uh, ender generators and the blazer starting to spawn. Yeah, I ran and I ran uh, another quarry. So I got a couple more diamonds, some quartz, and I have a lot of blaze rods and quite a lot of oak wood. And yeah. So this one, no, this one's getting full, and I have still two empty 16k storages, and I made 24 more ender, ender generators, and they are all full of power and ender power, so that's good. And yeah, I think that's gonna be it for this episode. If you enjoyed the episode, please leave a like, comment, favorite, and subscribe. This has been King of 42, and see you in the next one.